Welcome back to the Mastering Runeterra podcast with Jay and Bay, the number one source for competitive legends of Runeterra news and information. If you're looking for the best decks to play right now, right now. be sure to check us out on Twitter at Master Runeterra or in our Discord. And if you want to take the next step in leveling up your game, check out our Runeterra team on Patreon where we do weekly learning calls and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now strap in and grab yourself some Boro snacks because we are about to start Mastering Runeterra. Welcome back to a very special episode of Mastering Runeterra. Uh, today we're going to go over the new patch notes that just dropped and uh, all the changes that came with them, as well as a bunch of new cards that just came out. What's... We didn't we just get a bunch of new cards and like now we're getting new yes. cards again. Is how? Yeah, I was not prepared for it to come out this fast. How long ago like. did we're the, still trying to figure out this meta? Did the other new cards come out? Was it two weeks? I think like two weeks ago. Yeah. What? Why? Yep. It's been pretty quick. It's cool though. I love it. I love. I love whenever things are new and changing right. and like. It's always exciting. Mm. This. Well, uh, what were the new champs? What were the newest champs that came out? uh action i remember action oh you mean from the last one no no no. Uh, the last the last ones yeah oh <laughs> can you even remember w were there new champs are there always new champs it's gotta be right how do we I feel like there's always new champs how do we not know this i know right were there were there not new champs The newest ones I remember were like Malphite, Talia, and Zillion. Yeah. Were there no new champs? Maybe there was no new champs. There was that happened. It was there was the nerfs and the and the buffs. The nerfs and the buffs. Are are we just insane? Are we just dumb? We're just blanking? Card gallery. Maybe. We are Sword professionals. Um, we know what's going on yep. in the game that we play all day. Rek'Sai, Echo, Hike. Wow. That feels like forever. It was two oh weeks ago, God. and already that feels like ah. Yeah, right? Yeah. They should be coming I've out played new cards every two like weeks. three times today, and it just... <laughs> Uh, I forgot. Yeah, you have apparently. no excuse. I at least have not played ladder in quite a while. I'm a little like out of sorts. I need to get back on it. I should probably get on that. Yeah. Oh man, you have no idea. Like it's been like a solid like seven to ten days. I've barely played at all. I'm like fiending. I gotta get in there. I feel like I'm just falling behind. Right. Okay, let's get these patch notes. They are freaking exciting. I Can't skimmed believe. them quickly, and there's a lot of stuff in them mm. that I was quite excited about. Have you have you given them a read? Uh, I gave them a once through. All right, last let's, night. Let's um, jump into it. I get them early because I'm such an important person. Ooh, are you? Tell me more. Hashtag LPP gang. Oh, yeah. I the coolest. I am also part of that. Whoa! Yeah. What a coincidence. Wild. All right, this has been the worst intro ever. Let's get into it. Uh, new champ expansion. God, this is horrible. Diego and Action. Can we just call him Action? Is that okay? I have no idea how to pronounce it. Well, action's cool. Uh, I'm sure, someone will tell me. A action as a name is about as cool as Viego having abs. Let me tell you. Also, Viego shows off his abs in every single picture. Just putting it out there. Uh, did Oko join the game? Cause uh, got a crown, got some abs. Hopefully, is same similar look. Not as OP. Okay, so what do we got here? Patch notes, blah blah blah. They go into uh, effect tomorrow. Yeah, awesome. New event, Sentinels of Light. This is pretty cool. Hey, they're doing this across yeah, all the games. Cool. Um, there's like you get to like pick which event pass you want. This is really cool. Um, the riots going to give uh like money to charity based on like how mm -hmm. much we play all the games and stuff and like unlock things. That's really cool um so yeah it's the riot game social impact fun very very cool uh you can see all the new cards which we'll go over after this uh okay we're getting to some personalization some champ skins uh okay so we got uh this patch introduces board chromas 
inspired variants of certain boards to further personalize your side of the field. You do you do not need to own the base version of a board to purchase and equip a board chroma. Three chromos are available for the new Sentinel Sanctuary board added in this patch. So these are actually board skins. These are like boards yeah, that we already basically. existed and they're just reimagined, done differently because the light and the dark has taken over everything. That's Yeah, but in so far, I think it's only for the Sentinel Sanctuary board. Okay. Yeah, I've seen those. But I like that they're opening it up a bit. So let's check out these skins. Uh, Sentinel Aurelia looks good. It has another level up animation, which upsets me that they're only giving level up animations to the champs that just got lamp. Like, they're brand new. Yeah. They already have cool level ups. What's that about? Timo needs some love, you guys. Okay. Like, Thresh, is, Thresh and Karma are in this skin set, and they're like beta champs. Yeah. They came out immediately. They have like really old and outdated level up animation. Also, be super sick getting a new animation. Fan favorites that have not recently dumped all over a meta that people were not happy about. I mean, they, yeah. I'm sure they had to make these yeah. a long time ago, but yeah, seriously, give us some old, give us the old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refresh it. Um, uh, my, my only thought is that, um, Aurelia plays a bigger part in like the ruination storyline than most of the other champs. Right. And so it just makes sense yeah. for her to get the level up animation. Whereas like ruin Draven doesn't make any sense really. Um, so I think, yeah, that makes sense. That's my thought. Um, I really like unbound thresh. Some other ones. Yeah. What is the deal with oh, yeah? thresh? Do you know his like story or something? So he was, a, cause I thought he was some, some sort of monster kind of guy, like from the underworld, but now he's a guy. He's kind of like, a reaper of souls i don't really know what that means but yeah i think he traps he, like, souls inside the takes people's lantern. souls and puts them in the lantern yeah and he kept senna in there and lucian was trying to like get her back like a whole thing yeah that's all i know about it too uh ruin draven looks pretty dope gotta say big fan of draven yeah draven seems like the easiest champ to like ruin you'd just be like hey draven you want to do some cool stuff and he'd be like yeah yeah he's like <laughs> he's do it. literally like uh like, majin vegeta like he won't be more powerful but be on the dark side like yeah man. yeah sounds good yes <laughs> yes i do call snap call uh snap call yeah I, I really like a, a lot Sentinel of these. diana Sentinel diana looking yeah. dope uh, looks very good ruined karma looks pretty sick so um, that's got like that's, the level one that's level gonna be two my, looks that's gonna be a sick new well. go-to karma for sure oh yeah i'm gonna buy that immediately uh the new ribbon sick um yeah i really like the splash art for ribbon yeah and shivana shivana with her third skin this is my favorite one to date though or i think second if you count the original one yeah no it looks really good uh now i remember originally looking at like the pool party skins and stuff and going oh they're pretty cool they look all right um but then once you get the zoomed in version on the card i like the framing a lot more you know what i mean no i don't explain okay so like pool party Zoe's, for example, is a big picture of oh, Zoe I see doing cannonball, saying. and then there's a lot of things around her. Yeah, and it's like it looks good and everything, but I can't imagine it on the card. And then the Zoe's card is like zoomed in on Zoe doing the cannonball, and it's very nicely framed, and it looks it looks good. Gotcha. Uh, and I think these are going to be the same way. Like a lot of them look really cool as posters, but I have a hard time imagining them as cards. And then once you like like level two Karma, looks sick as a poster, but on a card, I'd be like. Mm. But it's gonna get like likely zoomed in on Karma up there, and again, like the the then, art like, looks cool. like there's a lot of action happening. Like, how cool would it be to go from this to that as an animation, right? Because both of them look it'd be so sick, look pretty dope. Give us more animations, we'll wait. please. Okay, onto the boards. Um, so this is the Sentinel Sanctuary board. This First off, new board. Sentinel board. Yeah, looks cool. So good. It looks so clean. Yet again, let us click on the things. Does it say if you can or? Oh my God, let us clickable. It doesn't. Mm -mm. Inter it says interactive oh, elements. It has interactive elements. That's clickable, right? That's inter that's interactive. That sounds clickable to me. Cool. It's so important that a board's clickable. Even if it's like one thing, just like one thing that you can like jingle click the goddamn or board. break something or yep. something. Uh, I like the spirit blossom ones because you get a, very, a satisfying like. Click, click, Sound and that you can ring the bell. Yeah. Bing, bing. I'm That's what I do whenever my opponents wrote me. I just sit there and ring the bell. <laughs> can your do your opponents see it? No, your opponents don't see it when you're doing it. No. That'd be cool though. 
that's next next level uh okay so the the chroma board so how does this work explain this to me or board okay chromas. so it's just like four versions of the board there's like the normal one and then there's like the other chromas and it's essentially just like a different variation of the sentinel board that you can buy okay oh yeah i see that's basically it i think so, yeah there's like slightly mm -hmm. different yeah that's cool it's nice i don't mind yeah. that yeah i mean like why not right yeah you know they just they all, all they it's less work for them they don't have to design a whole new board and it's more awesome stuff for stuff us for us yeah so it just seems like a win-win take it take it uh guardians these, i like these pets these are cute we got the Vigo hauntling mm -hmm. uh and the sentinel hauntling have we seen hauntlings before hauntlings new right no they've been in it oh really okay the little ghosty thing oh okay mm -hmm. uh then we got the uh ruined earth which is hilarious gotta try that out i i won't play it because they never shut up <laughs> i'll do a little bit for the it lulls so much noise okay okay um and then the sentinel gloom tooth yeah like the shark chariot card um i like that one i think i like the the sentinel one the top one the most though oh really the these, hauntling. these bottom two i'm all about sentinel hauntling yeah that was pretty cool i like the swords and stuff they're all good I, it's it's gonna take a lot to get me away from queen kit though yeah i'm not gonna lie that's like whenever i watch whenever i'm watching you play i'm always like oh that 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 one's so good classic queen kit's the best card backs cool cool i feel like they could do more Looks with card good. backs frankly Looks good i like that one yeah the ruined one and the sentinel one i like a lot um i want like i'd like to see some different card backs some different takes on the art like this like style that they have going <laughs> That's just me though. Okay, let's see these emotes. Oh, you don't, you're not a fan of that kind of style. It's fine. Well, let's go back it's to like, it's kind of You don't like this to, kind of style. It's hard to see particularly well. And yeah, I don't know. There's just yeah. not like if it was. I don't know. Let's go back up to like the art or something. Like if it looked like I don't know this sure. on the back or something. Are the colors too like muted for you or something? Um, it's hard to make out. Like it's. You know, because it's um, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, it's not like super crisp, like what is going sure. on yeah. and stuff. Um, and it's like quite small on the deck. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to like, doesn't like pop out. Yeah, it's hard to get a lot of detail and stuff going. And just I mean that in general, like, yeah, it's hard to see all the detail in here, right? There's a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. I, I I get you. I get you. Yeah, that's just my take. Like I prefer these kind. Like this. Yeah. Hmm. But it's hard to like not just play the right fist bump. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Right, emotes. Uh. So this one's definitely awesome. Heartbroken. That's gonna be. I'm definitely gonna be using uh -huh. some of that's that one. one. Uh. Do, do you think it replaces Sad Poro though? For a little while, until you get tired of it. For a little while? Okay. Because I think Sad Poro's classic. Timeless. It's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Exactly. Uh, um, this is some solid crying, I'll, though. I'll look at these, these, water, these waterworks are really common, though. The Sad Poro just a little bit. This is like, and it's this good is one. a it's good, good cry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next up, we got Feels So Good. Uh, this I'll definitely be using this a lot if I ever play against Mo. We like to emote each other quite uh, a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, if you play any deck that has like a stupid combo, I feel like you have to put this in your lineup. Yeah, that's that's a must for sure. Whenever you go off. Uh, oh, if you're playing so like Glorious good. Evolution. <laughs> yeah. Anything like that. Okay. And then and then oh, we got Karma. And then my favorite. This is this is now this is going to be a permanently in my rotation for forever now. The, really? Oh my gosh! Wow. I love this. I like let out like a like a like a giggle of glee when I first saw this. I was like, they did not, they did not. This is like the this is the popcorn eating emote that everyone always uses with Karma, who's like one of my favorite champs. Love it. Wait, it's it's good. What what it makes what I wish I had it for was all the times I was playing against combo decks in Magic: The Gathering, like Storm. You're just waiting for them to do and stuff. And you just like. You're just waiting. Any, I wish I could just spam this. Anytime like, you're getting roped, this is fantastic. This is great. Just like, was, I'll just sit here. Oh, yeah. This is anti rope tech. You just need some popcorn. No big deal. Eating some popcorn. Just chilling. Just chilling. I love watching <laughs> a trade wreck. <laughs> the, the, the like, 
Pulp Fiction meme. Oh my you know, gosh, it is. Like, oh my gosh, it is. I didn't even realize that. So good. Yeah. Where is it? What? Where I don't know what I'll use this for, but I do like it. Yeah, it's good stuff. They're killing the whoever's doing the emotes. I love the emotes, man. Whoever's doing They're the so emotes, funny. those people need a raise. Yeah. They are crushing. I think these people just troll like Reddit or something and just look for like memes and be like, that one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, you can get the Sentinels Pass uh, or some bundles. Um, yep. Okay, so these are all the skins. I always buy the event boop, pass. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I do as well. I like event passes. Uh, so what's what is this? These, these are the board chromas. These are the... That's what they look like in the store, I think. Oh. Because they're based off a champ, right? So there's like the normal one, the Akshan one, uh, Senna, and Ribbon, I oh, think. Oh, I see. Each champ has their own. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't realize that when we were looking through them. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, and Starter then... deck someone's going to look at. And then uh, uh, expeditions. I, play expeditions. Play expeditions? I did once. I misclicked. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, like it. I I like expedition, but like I am a spike out hard. I just want competitive everything. Yeah, if it was competitive I don't have to, I don't have expedition. To play expedition. Yeah. I'd be down. Speaking of which, right? Give us. Maybe. I want some limited. Maybe. Want some freaking limited? Yeah. Give me some draft or some sealed or something. Um, mm -hmm. and then what does this say? Miscellaneous best of three has been added as a format option to friend challenge. What? It, excuse me. What? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Just um, under miscellaneous, we, just I, like sprinkled. I'm in hoping. There. Just, just oh, peach dubs. By the way, um, I'm hoping it's like, you know, the like season the way seasonals are gauntlet is where you see the three decks, you ban one, right? Like it should be. Why would it um, not? Be? Which would be nice because then we don't have to use third party programs like Runeterra ban. Yeah, not love love you Runeterra ban, but having it all in client just makes yeah. your life so much easier. Also, just like scrimming with people anytime, just like you you want to play? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Bam. Right, here's my lineup. Boom. This is jam. I don't have to send it to him anymore. Now, one thing I wish, and this is such a stupid change that would be such a big deal for me, is please make it so that when I click on my opponent's deck and it shows the deck list, it fits on one screen. Yes. Also, I, I'm fine screenshotting it and everything, but make it so I don't have to screenshot each deck twice. Yeah. What's that about? To fit it. That's real annoying. Also, though. So, yes, one, get the whole deck to fit on screen at once. Two, um, rather than us having to screenshot it, which is annoying, what if you just had like a little button at the top that would drop it down like for thing. you? Yeah. And then That'd there it is nice. and drop it back up. Very nice. Yeah. Easy peasy. Like, what? Mm -hmm. Well, like, what more do you want at that point? You're just good to go yep. in game, best Look. of three. Yeah. And, you know, what I'm really hoping is that. You know, they'll see the numbers of people using this. I um, assume it'll be quite popular. Um, and I'm hoping that this is a step towards best of three ladder. That's yeah. I mean, it's a necessary step for sure. Yeah. I don't think it's like any kind of, hey, this is now our, like it. This isn't anything that like says, hey, this is our plan now is to put it in ladder. But it's something that would have had to happen in order for Best of three ladder to happen, so definitely happy to see it. This is the first chance we've ever had to play best of three on demand outside of uh, mm -hmm. Gauntlet, which is came it like came and went. You know, it wasn't always there, and yeah. it was also just a lot of people memeing around and like having fun. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Um, but now we can just best of three wherever we want. We don't have to use in client. We don't have to use outside things. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. Imagine like we're streaming. Yeah. People want to do some scrims against us. Like, yeah, cool. Friend challenge me. Let's go. So much easier. Yeah. So much easier. I don't have to send you my deck list in Discord or something. Um, I don't have to be like, okay, I'm bringing this to your decks. What are you bringing? Okay, I banned this one. We, we Yeah. Decklist. So we might have to. We don't. Because for Gauntlet, it doesn't show you deck lists. We might. Which is weird. What's that about? Oh. For Seasonals, it shows you deck lists. And then Gauntlet, the thing that qualifies you with the same format, it doesn't show you deck lists? What? That's kind of weird. What? Um. I don't know about that, but it's not, you know, usually super difficult for us. We just be like, okay, you're playing Draven Ezreal. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. You're running thorns. No, but I'm on three house spiders, right? Like, yeah, not a big deal. Uh, but something I definitely would like to see. I'm looking at the bug fixes, not seeing anything super crazy, except there's the one thing where canceling a multiple choice spell would result in choices being locked. So like if you cast right of summoning or whatever, um, and you, 
click sacrifice a mana gem and then you decide you want to sacrifice a unit instead, you can't. Just auto goes to sacrifice a mana gem. That's a pretty big fix. I would really like the one that like makes a soul's effect trigger three times to go away. I hate that. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just it, it doesn't affect the game. It's just really annoying. What about is the the one with um Lee Sin? What's the card I'm thinking of here that gives it like overwhelm? Uh yeah, and it'll like, and, like draw it twi- draw it twice. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not mm-hmm. on here? The visual bug? No. Hmm. I don't see Not it. a big deal. Honestly, much rather we're, we're nope. I'm big deal. <laughs> happy with all Whatever. the things we're getting. Okay. Yep. Shall we move on? Fix things that actually matter. To the cards now. Stuff that real matters. Cards. Okay, so now we're gonna go through all of the new cards. We're gonna start with the ruined cards first, and then we'll go over to uh the what are the light cards? What's the other side called? Sentinel. The Sentinel cards. Sentinel cards. Yes. Okay, so, so every time I've checked out the cards, I've clicked new cards and then scrolled through them and gone, there's not very many new cards. And I, I didn't notice until today that it's only the ruined cards. <laughs> yeah, I did that too. And I was like, that's strange. Aren't there more? I'm like, oh, wait, I don't see action or any of his I don't cards. Know, more stuff. At all. Yeah. So, yeah. Anywho. Uh, okay, we're starting with uh, Scattered Pod, aka Flying Whale. This is a six mana, oh. five, six, a tune. Uh, when you play it, draw a slow, fast, or burst spell. And if you are enlightened, it has elusive. I got to say, this might this be is... my favorite card of all of them. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite card coming out in the set. I hate that we're starting out with it, but that's OK. Yeah, it's all, uh, down, it's all downhill from here. Has a tune. It's all down here from here. You can stop watching the video. Um, it is like a big dude, like five, six for six is a respectable stat line. It's not like anything crazy, but it blocks a, a lot. lot, like most of the format blocks everything besides like Ruin Runner profitably. Um, and yeah, so some people are confused. Uh, it sounds like you it's it reads almost like uh, you draw a random slow, faster burst spell. Yeah, it's like you could draw something from your deck as long as it's not focus. But I'm pretty sure you get to choose between a slow, fast or burst spell. Um, kind of like kind of like an invoke, you know, you'll like play it and it'll pop up a venue like which of these three options do you want to pick? You want to draw a slow, fast or burst spell and do, then you click one. Do we know that for and sure, though? We don't know it for sure. I just think it. Oh, OK, because yeah, when I read it, it's like. You know, if it says draw a slow spell, you would just draw a slow spell from your deck. And so it, what I'm reading, it's like draw a slow, fast, or burst. It's just like one of them will be drawn. Yeah. And you th- But you think you get um, to choose. Yeah, yeah I think uh, Riot is incredibly like, they keep it vague to keep things short. Uh-huh. Um, this has happened a lot before with cards that like read differently. Um, like just the other day, um. One of my YouTube videos, I got kind of screwed when I read Jinx and it like said uh, the first time you empty your hand, you get a rocket. And I took that to be super literal. So I bounced Jinx to their hand. And then they played Jinx and got another rocket. And I was like, excuse you. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like it, it ta- like it's not it's not like Magic the Gathering where every card has to be super literal because you don't have to know exactly how things go because the game knows how it goes right you just play it and the effect happens and it's going to be correct every single time um so i'm i think they just made it this way to save on space because frank has a keyword it's got like three lines of card text already yeah because frankly um why wouldn't this say draw a spell if that were the case Right. Yeah. Like, cause dry non-focus spell. Slow. Honestly, and widely about focus. Slow, like, fast, and burst are like what? So we're missing focus. Is there anything else? Focus. Yeah. Gem speed. No, that's it. I mean, you could just um, say draw a spell. And like, yeah. So it would just say like play draw a spell. Yeah. Now, if this card is you just draw a random, you don't get to choose. It's not very good. It's not horrible. It's, it's yeah. Not like super it's, good. It's not as good um, for sure. Because. Yeah, but if it is choosable you can make this literally a tutor by like only putting one slow spell in your deck like if your only slow spell is like go hard for example every single time you play this and you pick slow you're gonna hit go hard yeah for anyone that doesn't know what a tutor is uh from magic the gathering a tutor is a card that lets you go and get a specific card out of your deck 
aka if you only have one mm-hmm. type you can you guarantee that you're gonna get that type. and you could even only have like yep. one slow spell one fast spell one burst spell somehow or even just like and you can just choose yeah. maybe like w- one slow yeah, and one like, burst I only have go hards vengeances and deep meditations i don't think that's a good idea but you could do that um and then you guarantee what you get yeah so it, it's a cool card um i'm very excited about it. this slots into karma decks as like the top end very easily i think um not like the targon karma but like pnz karma and possibly even shadow isles karma this is the fantastic top end i feel like i mean the other top end you know yeah like, what's, rocks. like look at like farin things like that like big produce extra cards help close out mm-hmm. games that's typically what you're looking for or yep. like swain in the boat boku gets swain uh like this is like kind of that um it costs a little bit less and it's yeah maybe a little bit less powerful but it does have a tune mm-hmm. and a deck full of spells that's very relevant so it's like almost cost five mana in a sense uh yep. elusive this is, is very real it's a very relevant key. this is what sub percival wishes it was yeah that's a good example that's a good uh uh-huh yeah because the first of all only costs five and it's draw a card and you have to do a lot of work to to make it happen mm-hmm. but it always has a loose but it always has a loose whereas yeah. this will come mostly come down as a vanilla five six yeah that draws you a spell and a tune so not so vanilla after all you do some... but like look at zap sprayfin look how powerful zap is yeah so good what if what if homecoming was your only uh fast spell and then you could just like always bounce it i will play this bounce yeah their thing. i will play this in karma ezreal it won't I, homecoming won't be my only fast spell but i'll play this in karma ezreal with fallen feline and i will play two copies of homecoming what okay what if you played no fast spells and then you played fallen feline and you chose fast with this would you just always get the crystal yeah right yeah mm-hmm. but then you'd have to not play palm Mystic yeah. Shock, get excited. Not not playing fa- well, other fast or, or that, other then. burst I spells, kind of tough. Right, but that is how that would work. Yes. Interesting. So, like, likely in Karma Ezreal, your only slow spell would be like Thermogenic Beam. Ooh. You just always hit Thermo Beam off it if you want. Yeah, that'd be nice. And you get the attune. Long story so you short, your turn with two spell mana, play it, have three, click Thermo, three, three beam something. Yeah, card is very powerful and very fun. I like, I just like everything that's going on yeah, with it. Yeah, we're not going to spend this long on every card, by the way. This yeah, is sorry. the card we're most excited about. <laughs> and uh, there's, mm-hmm. it just, there's a lot going on with it, too. Um, good card design. Really like it. Um, I think it'll, it needs to find a home. Yeah. You know, it is kind of slow. Yes. But, uh, but it's a it's a cool Enlightened. I thought Enlightened was like something we just kind of forgot about. So it's nice to see it get a little bit of love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's like four whole Enlightened cards in the game and like two of them suck. Yeah. And then what? Karma's busted. What else is there? Eh, but yeah, <laughs> um, there's like yeah, karma, and, uh, karma spell technically, and like that's it. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Um, Moving on. Thrumming swarm. So this one I understand. What am I was talking about? Uh, wanting it in like an echo deck, and like I don't, I don't yeah. get it personally. I think this card is expensive as all hell. Like okay, yeah, you just keep getting them but there's seven mana they're so expensive you want to read off what it does oh yeah sorry it is a seven mana eight four overwhelm this is when i'm summoned create a copy of me in hand if you've leveled a champion this game from shrima uh so Shreema. this reminds me of like um the nine mana like nine five that halves your health what is that card called oh um ledros you atrocity it yeah, Ledros. This reminds me of Ledros, where like you end up playing it every single turn. You know what I mean? And it takes up your entire turn. Now, seven mana is a lot less than nine, right? You could still do stuff, but like, I don't know. An eight four is just not that good. Yeah. Not. It has overwhelm, and that's super sick. It will win you some games, but I'm not like hella stoked to play an eight four with overwhelm every single turn for seven mana. Yeah. Like. Yeah, if you're fighting over resources and you're in like late game and you're both running out of gas, this is going to win you the game. But guess but what? This is going to do turns outside of that exact situation. It's just not very seven. good. What? Yeah, it's um, not doing anything. Not doing anything. A, a one of? I guess I, I mean, can you're going to feel it. real bad when 
Is it one of? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're you're gonna feel horrible when you play Thrumming Swarm and your Draven Ezreal opponent just like tri beams it and kills you. Yeah, I don't know. We'll 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 wait. We'll withhold judgment. I'm skeptical, but what am I is pretty big on it. So it'll be interesting we'll to see. see. Okay, next up we have uh, Rimfang Den Mothers, a six mana five five uh, from Freljord. When I'm summoned, summon a Rimfang Pack. Granted, I think it's Rhyme Rhyme. Oh, Rhymefang. Not that pack. it matters. Granted, plus one plus one. For each time you have frostbitten enemies this game. And Rhyme Fang Pack is a one mana one one overwhelm. Mm-hmm. So um, this is a cool card. Yeah. I, think, I don't think you'll ever play it. It's not good enough for constructed. These are good, like limited cards. <laughs> you ever play limited? Yeah. Oh, very good. Especially with like the Rhyme Fang Wolf or whatever. The one that's like a three two challenger. If I like hit something with zero power, I just blow it up. Yes. You know, in like that kind of a deck, the frostbite deck. This would be super sick, but like, look at the current iterations of like Frostbite mid range or whatever. You you can't play this. No. Okay. Next card: Ruined Rex, five mana, three three. Play cast Cannon Bar Cannon Barrage on randomly targeted enemies for each card you've drawn this round, up to five times. It's tiny Rex. Yeah, and Cannon Barrage deals one damage, right? Two. Two damage. Two to a thing. If the thing's dead or gone, it does one damage to Nexus. Gotcha. Um, um, another one that yeah. people were kind of high on, I still don't get it. Um, Rummage got nerfed for this. <laughs> it's like my first thought. Uh, I don't know. If you're going to play it, it's going to be in an Ezreal deck. Right? It's going to be like Ezreal Twisted Fate or something. Yeah. My The thing I don't like about it is that it's a 3-3. It's, it's it's like quite small for a five. It's a three drop. three for five. Yeah. Um, so okay, absolute floor, three three for five, the cannon barrage is once. Yeah. Not very good. Now it's all upside from there, but you have to spend five mana on the card. Let's assume it's turn five. You have to draw multiple cards this turn to make this good, right? So what you rummage into Ruin Rex? That's like not that good. I mean, okay. This would have been insane with pre-nerf twisted fate could you imagine absurd you go twisted you like rum it yeah the pre-nerfed cards you would go like rummage twisted fate pick like blue card pick a card draw no not sorry you just go like pick a fate uh twisted fate pick a card right and then you draw four cards one for draw three for pick a card they have to kill twisted fate because otherwise you just like level them and win the game and then you just play ruin rex and cannon barrage them four times <laughs> that'd be so good yeah, but to be not the case anymore. To be fair, I've been blown out by normal Rex a lot. But like, how many times does he go off? Like eight or something? Ridiculous six, seven, I think. Seven, maybe six. Uh, it's a lot. But I don't think I don't think this card's super good. I think it's cool. Yeah, agreed. Uh, but I don't think it's that good. We shall see. A lot of a lot of work to get not the biggest payoff. Uh, next up, we have uh Kajigrin, Kadigrin, 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 Kadigrin. The Ruined. So know. six mana, six, six. Uh, dragon from Demacia dragon. with Fury. Play granted allied champion or dragon challenger. Cool card. Uh, relevant ability. But six mana Very for six, ability. six yeah. Fury. I'm not like super. That's again, not like stats aren't super exciting. Yeah. There's not. Okay. So like this card would be really good if there were a dragon's deck that cared about having a lot of a lot of dragons like mostly dragons right um but the dragon's deck don't need that the only thing you need a dragon for is like the three two that gets challenger well actually you know what there's no like real payoff for having a ton of dragons it right? can target itself right i i didn't hear you what it can target itself i don't know if it can target itself then it's not that bad yeah, because then it's like a big screeching dragon. Yeah. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yeah, okay. You know what? I, I take it back. Uh, I think when I so first read it, is, if it, yeah. I thought that it gave something Fury, which I was not, but it gives a challenger. And so like... Oh, that's bad. If yeah. you're a Challenger's a good keyword. If you have a deck full of Fury stuff, and like, I mean, um, uh, the other dragon is... Uh, screeching dragon is insane. 
right that card's absurdly good yeah it's nuts uh mm -hmm. so this is kind of like build your own screeching dragon like imagine you do this to if uh that's how that works the seven drop or if you could do it to itself yeah if you do it to itself that's pretty good that's pretty good it's like pretty decent card there's, if you cannot i don't think it's playable there's some champions that you give challenger to as well shivana for instance garen on curve garen. shivana yeah there's some exciting stuff so okay we'll hold judgment we'll see how this one works could uh yep could see some stuff okay next up we've got uh, ruined dragon guard three mana two four from demacia when an ally with fury kills a unit grant it an additional plus one plus one i don't like it no it's too gimmicky i'm not a fan yeah because the floor of it by, by it's itself the yeah it's a three mana two four which is Over, not yeah. good i'd i'd rather play the laurent guy protege my cousin two forward challenger yeah yeah who does not know the name who does not know the name laurent <laughs> uh, okay next up we have uh crawling viper worm this is a two mana dragon uh for a three two with fury play i strike an ally or deal three to your nexus um unless you actively want to strike your allies this card's very bad yeah, so I, I guess these combo with um, these encroaching mists. I guess that's what's supposed to I be guess. happening. So you kill it, and then which the encroaching mist like wants to die, and then this has fury, so it becomes like a four three. I think that's like how it's supposed to be working. Because there's, there's a bunch of these that yeah. you, as we'll see here, it's I mean, like strike an ally or right. deal three to your nexus. You're right, but like. Most of the time, you're going to have this in your hand on turn two, and you're going to look at it and go, this sucks. Lightning bolt my face. Because, like, yeah, you bolt yourself, and it's going to get blocked by Zonite Urchin, and then you're going to be like, god damn it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, it's just not going to do anything. Yeah. Um, hard pass. Yeah. Typically, when you want stuff like this, you want the synergies to be, like, making sense mm -hmm. all the time. Like, if they're good on their now own, and then three, together, three. they're insane. Yeah, 3-3 three, three would have been better. If it was a 3-3, three, three, so we'd, be, we'd have a real card here. Yeah, 3-2? It's so small. Like, what? Two, two health is so easy to kill. Yeah. Like, yeah, if it was a 3-3, three, three, because then you could play, like, a one-drop, like, Helpless Aristocrat or something, kill it, um, and it's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, you need to have a deck that um, wants to strike its allies and deal damage to your Nexus. If those are actively good things, like if you're yeah. below 10 uh, health, then something awesome happens or like something like that. And you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, Shadow and Runeterra yeah. win. Exactly. Um, but so we'll see. But currently, I don't really see it. Uh, next up, we have oh. Kamavoran Dragon. Uh, four mana. I'm not making these easy on you. <laughs> four mana, four, three. Yeah. Who said I had to pronounce all these names? Um, Shadow Isles. Four mana, four, three. Fearsome and Fury. Again, play, I strike an ally, or deal three to your nexus. When I slay a unit, drain one from the enemy nexus. Better. Better? I don't really want to play it still. But better. Yeah. Uh, draining is better than just, like, dealing damage, right? Because you gain one. Um, and that's really nice. I think... I, I, I like this direction, because Shadow Isles is basically Magic the Gathering's black color, right? Mm -hmm. Where you, like you pay for something to get better things like you have powerful things but they have a drawback and i like that angle um but like i don't know this drawback is kind of high and these like low health units with an upside are just gonna get blocked yeah when your opponent plays a one or two mana three power unit and it just trades with your four four mana unit like you're just behind yeah just like, wow, this is a four mana unit that has a drawback when you play it. So the drawback needs to be like, like we said with Crawling Viper Room, the drawback needs to be a benefit. And there must be. You can't play this because the card's not even that good. There must be a way to make it so, because why else would they make these cards, right? They're not just like making There's a bunch of back. There's, There's got to be some be. stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're kind of coming up to yeah, a I mean, part of it. You could though. play it in a traditional. Uh, I think another good thing about it is Viego really wants your allies to die. Yes. Right? Yeah, so I think that's um, I think that's so where it's supposed units to that kill an ally. Yeah, the weird thing is that he costs five though, and so they like come out before him. Which is and so you, what are you gonna do? Hold him? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but we do also have this next card: three mana, three three from Shadow Isles, uh, Camavoran Soldier. When I'm summoned, summon an encroaching mist. So this would be on curve. Encroaching mist is a 
let's talk about encroaching yeah so encroaching one mana one one ephemeral one mana one one ephemeral from shadow wells uh, uh when i'm summoned grant all allied viegos and other encroaching myths everywhere plus one plus one that's significant that's a good card yeah. yeah uh so this three mana three three already good on stats three mana three three is totally fine um when i'm summoned summon an encroaching mist so your viego automatically gets plus one plus one uh and all your mists get plus one plus one so fantastic card on defense yeah you play it and you have two blockers well statted um i really like this card if you're playing viego you're probably playing camelborn soldier yeah and um and I'm assuming this is where these, like, Camivore and Dragons, like... But the thing is, it's ephemeral, though, right? So does it stick around for the next turn? It's gonna die anyway, like... To get hit, yeah. Why even play this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up we have Despair. It's a format of slow spell from Shadow Isles. Pick a unit to strike your Nexus, then kill it. Uh, fine, I guess. What? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like a... I'm, I'm just going to keep making magic references. There's like a bunch of Orzhov cards that do that, right? Where it's like exile something, you lose life equal to its power or something like that. It's very similar. Um, oh, I, oh okay. I, sorry. I, where's the Death Shadow? <laughs> I didn't realize you could cast it on their units. My bad. Oh, my God. I, well, because we've been talking about like when I slay a unit, deal, deal through to your own Nexus. Yeah. I strike an ally. It's all this like dealing to ally or Nexus. I just like got stuck in that mode. Okay, so you can you can choose one of their things and it deals damage to your nexus and then kill it. That's actually pretty good. Uncon it's not bad. Unconditional no, it's not bad. removal is quite nice. It like this will kill. Uh, you know what a deck I think would have wanted this Tough. is like go hard. Hmm. Yeah, go hard had a hard time dealing with larger units, and it gained a lot of life. They played like crumble. Yeah. It had you could play like vengeance, but it was so slow. Yeah. And the deck thrived on like casting like three spells a turn. So despair would like really hmm. help there. I, I actually uh, like despair. A spell. We're gonna go over this in a second, but it's yeah. I, I'm probably not gonna main deck more than maybe one if I even play one. But it is Viego's champ spell, and having like a good champ spell is very nice, especially because like you're gonna get these encroaching mists. But no, sorry, I was thinking of crumble again. Um, huh. uh, yeah, it, it's a good champ spell. It's not bad. What about um? What's that uh, zero three for like three mana that when one of your units dies, you ping them or you drain your opponent? Yeah, it's like prankster or trickster or something. Yeah, and there's also the the two four version for five that like drains. That's less good. Any deck that drains a lot, where this like life, uh, this hitting your nexus could be mitigated. If, like that's that's great. Yeah. If it says four mana kill a thing or like a like a. Or like a hyper aggro deck that just doesn't care but needs to get things off the board. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I think I think this card's pretty good. Um it's okay. Yeah. Four mana kill thing is pretty good. In main decks, but we'll see. We'll see. Fine. Uh okay. Next up we have Viego, our first champion. Is a five mana five four fearsome from Shadow Isles. Each round, the first time an ally dies, summon an encroaching mist. So okay, so I guess this kind of makes some sense with uh the cards earlier that strike your own things and in this way helps you summon more encroaching mists and then and then he says mm -hmm. um to level up i've seen allies with 20 plus power total total power die oh his is c gets to c yeah oh wow mm -hmm. we're gonna be getting those encroaching mists real big just encroaching mists all day yeah Huh, okay, and then his champ spell yes. is um, Viego's Despair. Up the level. Yeah. Now he's probably going to, like, enter the field or become bigger, like, really quick, right? Because if you play a Camvoran soldier, he's already a 6-5. Yeah. Good point. Something to consider. And then he just gets bigger every time you get an encroaching mist. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, okay, let's look at the level up. Let's look at the level up. Because it's kind of insane. Very hard to get there. Yes. But uh, his level up form is he gets plus one to both the stats. Uh, he keeps fearsome. Each round, the first time a unit dies, someone in encroaching mist. Still, round start of both rounds. Steal the strongest enemy this round. If it's a champion, kill it instead. That's an insane ability. Oh, yeah. That's a game ender. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then also it's supposed to be synergistic with the dragons that strike your allies. Right. Um, now, 
that sounds very win more to me. Like if you're stealing things every turn, you don't need to sacrifice them. You're already winning. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, uh, so yeah, his level up is like game ending for sure. Um, but it's going to be very hard to get there. Seed allies with 20 plus total power die is a lot to ask. Yeah. A lot. So because of that, I, I'm uh, I'm a little skeptical on Viego. I don't really see him. I'm very skeptical of Viego. Very skeptical. Splash. But mm -hmm. we uh, remains to be seen. I love I love for him to be good. I love for Viego to to be able to yeah. be good enough to actually see some play. I mean, I'll play him. I'll try him for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to be like S tier or anything, but he could slot into like a self sacrifice Shadow Isles shell. It'll be fun to try. Uh, okay, next up we got Midnight Raid. I got uh, PTSD. This is uh, zero mana. Comes from Ruined Reckoner, so read that card first. Oh, okay, that's how it works. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so Ruined Reckoner is a four mana, four three. This is when I'm summoning, create a Midnight Raid in hand uh, from Noxious. Noxious. Um, and Midnight Raid says uh, it's slow, ephemeral, right? That's what that is. Fleeting. Fleeting. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. An ally starts a free attack. Which seems... I think this card's very good. Quite powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a 4 um, mana 4-3, so it's already okay stats-wise. It's fine. Yeah. And there's... But most a... importantly, the spell it makes is zero mana. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that you can abuse with free attacks on your opponent's turn to level things oh, yeah. faster. This immediately i think slots into leblanc sivir yeah i can see that um it doesn't trigger reputation on its own but just going like two drop leblanc attack burn reckoner attack with leblanc again seems pretty good not bad seems okay just we'll slap it on sivir too later like the deck just attacks very well and so yeah i, I really like midnight raid in that deck yeah, good card. I like it. I'm a fan. Good card. Good card. Okay, next up we have uh, retired. I'm not really worried about it going into like the Azir decks or anything because it's Noxus. <laughs> and that doesn't really work out. No. No. Uh, this is gonna, it's gonna be fun though. People are gonna try a lot of different stuff because there's a lot of things that you know level oh, yeah. off of attacks or doing more damage. Uh, okay, uh, retired Reckoner, five mana, two six, Overwhelm. When you target me, grant me plus one plus zero. Oh. I I love this ability so much. It reminds me of the uh, heroic cards from Magic, which were very powerful. Oh. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, five mana is a lot. You want to I like you want those to be like two mana, one, two, three. So then you can start targeting and build mm -hmm. them up. By the time you hit turn five or six, they're already big and you're killing them. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I now, think... this thing is supposed to be played with Riven, I think. Oh, which is uh yeah would get out of control very fast yeah also good with the ruin reckoner very fast uh yes and gems yeah so yeah you can there's a lot of things you can combo with it It'd be very good it a, uh... would love to hit it off of like a tribeam or yeah. something potentially yeah uh well, well no. Actually, no you don't have anything to target your own stuff then because you're I, I, if you have axes yeah. <laughs> <then> yes <laughs> um uh, but like three gems makes this what an eight six with overwhelm. Yeah. But again, turn Big. five. Lurk Lurk has shown me how powerful an eight six overwhelm for five is. Yeah. Well, we'll see. If, uh, we'll see yeah, if he finds I, a home. I don't think it's like gonna be crazy, but they might find a home. Yeah. Okay. Next up, this one's real interesting. I'm I'm interested to get your take on this. We got Detective mm -hmm. Swap Bot. Uh, defective swap. Oh, defective. Bot. Okay, sorry. I thought it was detective this defective. whole time. I was like, interesting. Is he investigating the uh, war yeah. that's going on? Um, okay, it's a four mana, four three. That when you play the swap bot, you swap its stats with any other unit, your side or the opponent's side. So, like the opposing ace you're just like, boop. I'll have a ten ten. Thank you very much. You can have a little baby yep. ace uh, there's lots of big, big units that, you know, you just all of a sudden steal what they got going on. Um, I'm sure there's other things you could combo with, like cheap, elusive stuff 
that you just or or life steal. Mm-hmm. At least with life steal, just was, make them before like like a, like a moth. Oh, oh, your something. own. I was like, your I own. don't think you want to make their <laughs> <laughs> no, not their stuff. Your own stuff. Like if you had a a sparkle fly, you just make it a four three. Yeah, you just boom four three. Yeah, Ezreal's a four three now. Yeah, um, yeah. I think the card's cool. I don't think it'll really see any real competitive play. Yeah. Again, the floor is a four mana four three, which is that does nothing, which is unimpressive. Yes. But people are gonna try. People are trying to make this you happen. You have to. You have to swap stats. What if there's no other units? And oh, nothing happens. Oh, so like, yeah, like oh, if you have something that's actually against, really good and you don't want to swap, but you're forced to. Well. What I'm thinking is your opponent, your opponent's playing aggro, and you're forced to trade off your two and your three drop, or something, and then they have a field full of like two ones and two twos, and you have to make one of them a four three oh, because that's... you have to play blocker. Yeah, lots of awkward that's situations. That's the scenario in my head right now. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, next up we have a uh, frightened ibex. It's a one mana one two uh, from Targon. It says when I'm supported, give me and my supporting ally a plus one plus the one this round. I like it. I'm a big fan like of it. the support decks. They're super fun. Um, yeah, not sure if this card's going to be good enough. But, I mean, you go turn one this, uh, turn two, like, the Witch or the Cooks, that support. And so, all of a sudden, this is, like, if you go, like, this is, like, a three-power unit now. And then also the other one is a two- or three-power unit. So, you're hitting for five or six on turn two by themselves. Yeah. It's not bad. Cool. Um, but if you don't support it's bad on defense and if you are not supporting it it's just a one two yeah the floor is very low um okay mm-hmm. next up we have invasive hydrovine it's a seven mana seven six from shadow isles fearsome when i'm summoned or round start summon an encroaching mist i think this card's actually quite good it is quite large and it produces this effect every single turn including the turn that comes into play which is the, when i'm summoned is the important part yes yeah uh because you immediately get to attack or block with it like this just clogs out the board either way and um we're going to assume by turn seven you probably played more than one yes. encroaching miss so it, at least one it's pumping right? out like four four five five six six seven seven it's like turn after turn after turn yeah like this is gonna be this is gonna be big because you're gonna play the soldier and you're gonna play viego if you're running this um and yeah, I think I think this card's really good. Yeah. If you if you want to be playing the encroaching mist deck, this is probably uh something you're looking at for sure. Again yeah, though. For sure. I don't I don't know if that deck's like gonna be good enough, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if the encroaching mist deck will exist, but if you're running it, this is it. Yeah, yeah you're gonna run this. Um Okay, last up we have uh, Withering Mist. It's a five mana slow spell. Drain two from two enemies. I want this card to be good so bad. It could so. This like... is a sideboard card if I've ever seen one. Could you imagine playing against this with spiders? Oh. And they just gain four life and kill two of your things. You're like, God damn it. Okay, I guess we're done um, here. Is it like a good effect? Yeah. Is it going to replace like withering whale or anything i don't think so um i wish it's, it i wish it said better against rain four to up to two units that'd be, that'd be so much better if you could split it that'd be that card be insane that'd be insane yeah. um yeah but would it be now, like, would it be too two, insane two damage is a lot yeah is it it'd be too good um yes damage divided as you choose oh disgusting um not that this card is like bad and it's not only good against aggro like that's a four point life swing and then you probably kill at least one thing yeah i mean look at um what about grasp grasp deals drains for three five mana fast yeah it drains for three five mana fast good card but i think withering mist withering mist is more likened to like an avalanche in my man in my mind yeah i can see that yeah, not bad. I'm could see not going to slam three into my Shadow Isles decks, but like, no, nope. could see some play for sure. Okay, so that is it. That's it for the uh, for these ones. For the real cards. Sentinel cards next. There we go. Sentinel of Light. Uh, do we have to do it like this? That's really annoying. I think we do. 
I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, I guess we do that. <laughs> and it just goes to it's ruin just, every time. I don't know, yeah. I'm not okay, sure what the yeah, deal is. I guess we're just going to do it like this. Just look at the right side. Uh, okay, so first of all, we have action. Two mana, quick attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two mana, quick attack. I was like, yeah, I was like, the, what? Yeah. They always show the level up version first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two mana, two, two, quick attack from Shurima. When I'm summoned or strike, summon a Warlord's Palace or advance it one round. Level up. Warlord's Palace has finished its countdown. Uh, and then Warlord, Warlord's yeah. Palace is a one mana landmark that has a countdown eight. And it says create a relic of power in hand. When you target allies, advance me one. Get to jump to Relic of Power, <laughs> uh, which is on the left. Yeah, zero mana, fleeting, focus speed. Pick one, predict, then draw one. Summon a Sandstone Charger, or grant all allies plus one plus zero. Oh. A pretty good card. Nothing, like, absurd. Sandstone Charger is a 5-2? Two? two mana. Yeah, like, I think this card is literally worth, like, two mana. Yeah. Like a two mana free card. Um, because both predict and draw one and summon a sandstone charger are two mana. And the only reason vision's three mana is because it has the discard effect. So yeah, it's like, it's like two mana card for free. It's good, but it's nothing like absurd, but it's free. Right. Because if you play Akshan on turn two, uh, and then you like hit with him or whatever, he's going to like, this thing's going to count down real fast. Yeah. Uh, okay, so and then when it does when it uh, does count down, if you have action, does it actually have to be in play? No. Like if action dies, no. no, the next one's still leveled. Yeah, and you play another one. So they play another one. Now action's a three three quick attack. Uh, when they're summoned, level up or strike, summon a warlord's horde or advance it one round. Warlord's horde is another one mana. Um, Landmark that has yeah, count down eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Create a Sentinel's Horde in hand. When you target allies, advance me one. Okay. So it's like the upgraded version of the Warlord's Palace. Uh, Sentinel's Horde, zero mana, fleeting, focus speed. Create the Absolver's Resurrection, a Font of Power, or a Shield of Sentinels. And those cards are zero mana, Shield of Sentinels, uh, zero mana focus. Grant your champions everywhere, spell shield, and plus two, plus two. Very powerful effect. Very powerful. Um, very powerful effect. Absolver's Resurrection, uh, zero mana focus. I think it's zero mana. Can you yeah. scroll up? Pretty sure it is, right? Yeah, zero mana focus. Um, grant all enemies vulnerable and create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game. Also, very strong effect. Wow, that's crazy powerful. Yes, and then uh, Font of Power, zero mana focus, draw two, your cards cost one less this round. Also a very powerful Also effect. very powerful. There's some good cards. Yeah, so all these are pretty insane. Uh, something to uh, consider that just appeared to me, can you scroll back up to show Aksha again? Um, his level two form, it says uh, when I'm summoned, level up or strike, summon a Warlord Sword. So you can get multiple in a game. Like after you level up one, you get another one. The hordes, yeah. Not yeah. that that will happen often. It's just something to think about. Um, I like I like this card a lot. Like a two mana two two quick attack is not bad on its own. Like you're super happy to play that turn two, and then it just automatically gives you value because you get a warlord's palace. Yeah. If uh, it's not a lot of value, but it's like something yeah so you can like so you you get the you get the palace even if they imagine they kill action mm -hmm. but now it's ticking down whenever yeah, you target one of your units yep. it ticks down faster okay so now it's done mm -hmm. uh action levels up you draw another action play it again now you get the warlord's horde and even if they kill that action again the warlord's horde is still there ticking down gonna get you one yeah. of these three very powerful cards yeah, those cards are kind of nuts. That's... Um, you're probably going to play him in a Ribbon deck, or I'm thinking in the Zed Sivir deck. I think you swap out Zed for him. Yeah, I can see that. You just have, like, a bunch of things with Quick Attack and Spell Shield and, like, uh, a bunch of spells that target mm -hmm. your own units. You're already playing, yeah, Twin Disciplines, Fury, Spirit's Refuge. Um, 
Shapestone. Shapestone actually gets so much better with him. Oh my god. Because he summons a landmark. Yeah. Whew. That mm -hmm. is significant. As if that card wasn't already nuts. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, action. Uh, I think he's very strong. Riven. You heard it here first. That deck is gonna be a menace. That's a lot of, that's good. a lot of synergy. That's a lot of like cards oh, that yeah. are just good on their own and just get crazy when put together. Yep. Yeah, I think tomorrow um, that's what I'm gonna let's be. Check out his, I'm gonna be rocking. Uh, what's you gonna start with? Let's check out his uh spell. Yeah, so action's grappling action's hook. Action's grappling hook. Three mana, slow right. spell. An ally you've targeted this round strikes an enemy. Create an action in your deck. Mm. Pretty okay. good. It just uh, strikes. They don't even, they don't yeah, even fight. We're assuming the deck... Yeah, they just... Bam! You just hit it. Uh, we're assuming that it's, like, trivial for you to uh, target an ally. Like, if you're playing the Riven deck, it's literally going to be, like, trivial. A little more difficult. Requires a little more setup in other decks. Um, but yeah, very good. You could also run him with Draven. I think Riven would be better. But, like, you could run him with Draven. Axes count as targeting your allies. Um, yeah, not a bad champ spell at all. I don't want to main deck this card. But as a champ spell, it's very strong, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, which of these spells have we not... These are all part of it. Uh, okay. We've gone on over all of them. We're on the Absolver. So this is a two mana burst spell from Shirima. Give an ally plus two plus one this round. If you have leveled a champion this game, create the Absolver's return in hand. And the Absolver's return is a two mana burst spell uh, with fleeting. This is give an ally overwhelm and plus two plus one this round. Insane. I think it's a very good card. Uh, the Absolver's Return is a very good card. The Absolver is like not good, but if you can level a champion pretty easily, all of a sudden it's really good. Yeah. So if you're leveling your stuff up, then all of a sudden this becomes like four mana on your Sivir, give it like plus four, plus two overwhelm at per speed, something like that. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, insane. But yeah, not sure how much play this is gonna see. Yeah. Leveling champions is hard. You have to like draw them and then you have to level them. <laughs> like a lot of ifs, you know? Um, not that it's like not ever going to happen. It's going to happen pretty often, but I don't want to play like a bad card hoping for a good outcome. Yeah, because this is competing with a lot of other cards like uh, Twin Disciplines. Yeah, Twin Disciplines is an insane card. Um, and then in the even in the other, like even in Noxus, you have good cards to target. Um, I think it's more likely to see play a Noxus, the Noxus version, than like yeah. the Ionia version. Um, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Okay, next uh, up. We already went over Grappling Hook. Grappling Hook. And then we have uh, Vicorin Vagabond. Three mana, three, three from Shirima. When I'm summoned, summon a Warlord's Palace or advance it two rounds. It's like the mirror to the uh, summon and encroaching mist. Yeah. Um. Someone was slacking off like that day. They were like, lick and stick. Copy, paste. Yep. Yeah, they just copy, paste. I like cards that are in the cycles like this, though. Yeah, you know, I actually where it's do like too. a mirror of it. I, like, I really like I like ones that um, just make it easy for the uh, for like the cool thing to happen. But the other one I like, yeah. the Encroaching Mist one I like. This one I'm less yeah. hot on. Not a fan. Uh, one, it doesn't make a second body on board. Uh, two, Warlord's Palace is not incredibly powerful. Yeah. Warlord's Horde is very powerful. Uh, yeah, I could like hasten it, but you know what's much better than this? Merciless Hunter. <laughs> Quite possibly the literal best card in the game. Yeah. Like, and it's how am I going to justify playing this over Merciless Hunter? Exactly. It's competing yeah. for the same slot. Remana Shirima. Hell no. Okay. Um, so, cool card. Good stat line. Not going to play it. Next up, we have uh, the Kurin Safecracker, four mana, four four from Sharima. Play, give an ally plus two plus zero to give an ally to give an enemy minus two minus zero this round. Oh, I didn't realize that you can it target itself. Uh, we don't know. This is the same problem we ran into with the other card. We're not sure. 
Yeah. Maybe. Again, so it is a four mana four four, which is solid. Um, and giving one mm-hmm. of your units plus two plus oh, one of theirs minus two minus oh, very powerful effects. Um, also yeah. helps with the targeting, right? Of your Yes, of Akshon. Of Akshon. Uh, but I I'm, I'm not gonna play this. But it needs like fearsome. Like if this had fearsome, I think it'd be pretty darn good. Or Maybe. overwhelm yeah. or something. Yeah. But vanilla Some, something. is like Mm-mm. not really happening. Nope. I'd rather play Profiteer. I don't even really like playing Profiteer. That's the five three that gives you a lucky find. Yeah. Or four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and the last one we have. Uh, speaking of lucky find. Five mana, five five, Accord and Bruiser from Sharima. Strike, create a lucky find in hand. So that is a big boy. Five mana five fives are solid. And each time yep. you strike, you get a lucky find. So the ability of like, you know, hitting yeah, and combat. Five fives tend to hit at least once. Yeah, if not multiple times. Um again though, you know, now now it's in the um um who's the uh spell shield? Rune runner slot. Rune runner slot. Yep. Yeah, these cards are just, you know, they're they're competing against the the literal best cards in the game right now the actual best cards in the game yeah Yeah. um not just the best cards in the region and i'm never picking this card over rune runner yeah um again cool card this card will destroy expeditions give it fearsome give it overwhelm give it a spell shield uh give it something and all of a sudden like okay anything quick attack we're talking also we got a real constructed powerhouse but yeah just not good enough to compete with rune runner yeah and uh, that's the last of them. Kind of interesting, though. There's a lot more it, uh, yeah. ruined cards than there are Sentinels, hey? Is that supposed to be like the yeah. odds are stacked against the good guys? Gotta overcome. I think it's to balance out the amount of cards in each region. Or is it to balance out how freaking good action looks in all of the cards? Most of the cards yeah, look really good. Most I of can't, the cards... They're like, well, our champion had eight new cards. Hold on. Let's count. Let's count. Okay. Uh, Palace and Horde. That's two uh not counting his spell so three four five six seven or take your word on it seven seven cards of, of think, revolving yeah, around action so. counting's really hard yeah that's pretty insane yeah it's a lot of cards that's like a felios level it's that's better than literally felios all of them because other than action and its yeah, cards it's, yeah there's the absolver grappling hook six other and cards? then the three yeah, the current cards mm-hmm. so it's like nothing else Shur- yeah it, I, yeah um good cards though Shur- Sh- thank god shurima doesn't need more power dream is too good right now yeah um interesting little i'm set. excited about this though yeah gonna yeah. gonna gonna sprinkle about in action. a little flavor a little bit of spice in there if this isn't gonna like drastically change the meta in any way shape or form no i don't think i think i think action will make a bit some of a things splash, will change but yes, i do too i think some decks get a new piece maybe right uh but that's about all we'll see some viego decks pop up don't know how competitive it will be action will make a bit of a splash and i think i like to think that our flying whale friend will find a home and uh yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Nothing else was like, oh my god, right? I I'm want I want crazy. Despair to be the good. The Riven decks get a lot better. Despair, yeah, that's a one or two of, for sure, if you want to play it. If the deck can handle it. I think Riven got a huge level up with this patch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see. It's going to be exciting. Um, check back in with us on Friday, and we will have played with the cards for a couple days by then. And we'll give you uh, a recap of where we thought we got it right, got it wrong, the stuff that we thought is actually working right now. Uh, going to be exciting. I can't wait. Looking for that patch. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, well, it's gonna be fun. that's it for us for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and listening. We will see you on Friday. Peace. Thank you so much for listening to the Mastering Rune Terra podcast with Jay and Bay. New episodes come out every Friday. If you haven't done so already, be sure to join us on Discord, check out the Patreon team, and have a look at our deck database on Twitter at Master Rune Terra. 
Links to all of these can be found in the show notes and description.